My name is Jason Carter-Hall and I'm a lead technician for Belfour UK. We received the instruction via the insurance company. They had an incident from the first floor ladies' toilet um, that had allowed water to cascade down to the ground floor over the duration of the weekend. Hi, I'm Andy Hipgrave. I'm a multi-trader here at Belfour. I was on the site here pretty much the first day of work, just after the leak had happened, and our first task was the organisation and removal of all the office furniture, packing up items and either relocating these items or moving them into storage. Our initial planning when it comes to contents removal is always the logistics of what furniture had to go where and making sure no bolts or screws were lost when dismantling items. Working with Andy, the caretaker, made it seamless as he had ideas, layouts and plans of where the furniture needed to go. The third floor office area wasn't being used, so we utilised all of the tables and chairs from the ground floor office and the middle office, everything to the top floor, and everything that wasn't being used that got transported out onto the car park in specialist humidity control containers. We had a pause in the job while the asbestos floor was removed. Obviously asbestos is a massive problem, huge risk to health, so it's always taken very seriously and removed as soon as we're aware of it. Hi, I'm Brian Clark, the asbestos operations manager at Belfour UK. Initially I was told or advised about the job where Jason was on site, he'd uncovered on the asbestos red shirt some positive bitumen adhesive on the floors with the floors disturbed, it was a concern and that was the reason they asked me to get involved. We're primarily lifting the floor coverings and the screed, uh, all done under control conditions. The planning of it needed to be around, again, what suited the, the building and the building's needs. The main elements that, that needed planning and organisation were the communal areas, stairs, landing, offices where we were still a live building, their only fire exit at that point in time, so lots of out of hours aspects and, and really just scheduling it to suit everybody's movements and uh, Bourneville's needs. Each member of each team is vitally important. You know, for, for on this particular occasion we have obviously had members of the reinstatement team helping myself and my team through the restoration process by basically packing everything out of the building and obviously the same guys then would come back in again um, for the reinstatement stage so you have that cohesion you know, throughout the whole process. Hi, my name is Grant Sweeney and I'm a trade supervisor at Balfour UK. Once remove all strip outs and the drawing of the building was complete, it was the turn of the reconstruction team. My main role on Bourneville was as site supervisor, overseeing other trades such as plumbers, electricians, decorators, floor layers and everything in between. I was involved in the new kitchen installations, skirtings, hanging of doors, refitting of toilet cubicles, but I will also help out where I can with the other guys. With a job of this scale, there are always going to be challenges. As Bourneville Village Trust was still a working building, with members of the public coming and going, it was of the utmost importance to keep a safe, clean site. We found using Gantt charts as a scheduling tool, beneficial to both staff and trades, so we knew when, where and who was doing what, and on what date. A huge part of how we operate at Belfort comes down to communication. Great communication and tight schedule of works so meant we can turn this job around in a shorter time scale. The main aspect that I feel that within having the internal solution is, is the continuity between teams. We're all looking for the same solution, best fit for client and occupants, policy holders, um, and by being able to discuss with the same agendas, we managed to achieve the best result. We set firm scheduling with Bourneville to ensure that it was going to be done swiftly. We achieved that, in fact we improved on it and, and shortened the time scales that we were on site, uh, which was down to the teams working and our planning and pulling together and it was great to know that we'd managed to complete all the works, hand it back earlier than the, the wanted deadline and, and, and see the, the the gracious way in which Bourneville you know, were, were satisfied to get to the next level of the works. For any insurance claim, whether it be a very, very small claim or a very, very large claim, the key is communication. You have to communicate between all parties so everybody's on the same page and everybody has that same process of you know, an end-to-end. -end. So obviously for, on this particular occasion, it's obviously the A's in between our own teams within Belfort, as well as your loss adjusters and your surveyors um, and your, obviously your contractors. Like for this particular claim, 
it had a surveyor and two loss adjusters that we had to deal with throughout the claim. My name's Rachel Brady, I'm an office administrator for BVT, looking after all insurance claims. Balfour are an end-to-end -end process which worked really well for us. They came in, moved furniture to temporary offices, looked after the floor space, replacing flooring and then put together everything back after all the reinstatement work had been completed, working alongside us with different requirements for different spaces which worked really well. We needed to stay open to the public throughout the works, so that's really important to us at BVT. So Balfour put together a temporary reception which kept the area separate from all the building works, keeping staff and members of the public safe. I had one point of contact I could go to with timeframes, what was happening next. That meant that I could keep staff updated with what areas they could go into, what areas couldn't, timeframes for getting certain offices set back up. The communication was really strong, so when we had one floor ready, we could get staff back into business as usual, and then we concentrated on the ground floor. So communication was excellent throughout. So we had a challenge as the, we've got archived documents in our basement that was affected by the flood. Some of these documents could date back to the early 1900s. These had to be carefully removed and put in secure pods which Balfour arranged on site. These were removed at the time of the flood in a, in a good time frame and then after the restoration work were moved back with care and attention that they needed. Sometimes, depending on the job I'm on, I don't always see that finished article. So with this one, it was a great change to actually see everyone back at their desks start to finish. To be here today and see how the building now looks, it is nice to think that you were involved in it. You know, it's a, a great achievement by a business. Yeah, really was, uh, was nice to, to have the opportunity, really. Being here from the start of the Bourneville job until the end is, is always a great feeling to see the finished article and see the office staff back at the desks back at work in a nice new environment. I think the biggest thing for me, it's all about building relationships within within the industry and within the setting. You know, off, off the back of this claim in particular, I have built a very good relationship with Rachel, the head of insurance here, and we've had quite a few claims off the back of off the back of this claim. So that's probably one of the one of the things I, I smile about really. Balfour went above and beyond with the work that was completed. When we first had the flood, the office needed to stay open as business as usual, so they helped move furniture to temporary locations. And then we, as we needed to keep the office open, they worked with us working out of hours and also weekends so that we could keep staff coming into the office so that we could be a point of contact to tenants that um, live around the office, as that's very important to Bourneville. I would not hesitate to recommend Balfour. Um, they've worked really hard on this claim and so much so we're using them on other insurance claims that we have ongoing at the moment. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank them for all their hard work.